Hi, and welcome, Martina here. Can you believe it? The Spellbinders Better Press system is finally here. I'm still very excited that I got to play with that fabulous new tool some time ahead, and I thought it could be fun to just introduce you quickly to the system and share some ideas and my new favorite technique with the Better Press system. The white piece is called the chase and it has these magnets which just press down when you push the system through the die cutting machine. Then you have the three shims which allow you to adjust the pressure to your paper. And then you have the magnetic insert with an A2 and A7 size grid. You also have the platen, that's the transparent piece which is the piece you put the paper on when you are pressing. Then we have the specialty paper in pebble, porcelain and bisque. Today I will be working with a piece of porcelain cotton card panel and I also have a blog post on the Spellbinders blog where I share some insights on using different paper types of paper with the better press system and I'll make sure that I link to that blog post in the description box of my YouTube video as well as all the products I've been using will be linked and yeah as always if you want to support me just use the links. I am now getting ahead to have a first well I think I'll just share my favorite technique with you and to do so, I'm just preparing an A2 card panel in the bisque color, that's the bright white, and just gluing it into place with small pieces of washi tape. I have been creating this card earlier when I've been trying what kind of techniques you can do and came out with that amazing ombre effect with the wildberry, mulberry and the black better press ink. And I thought I could just do something different and use the same technique, but different inks, which are French Blue, Cosmic Sky, and again, the black. I am then taking the Butterfly Swirl Better Press Plate and I will now be placing it to my magnetic insert. The great thing is you have the grid of your card base so you can get an idea of how the design of your card can look like and you can also adjust the placement of your plate on the magnetic insert. I absolutely love that. And then I can already start to color or add color to my plates. In the reel, I also have a reel on my Instagram today with the pinkish version I've been coloring the plate whilst I've been holding it in my hand. But for the video, I thought I'll use the proper way to ink my plate and just place the plate on the magnetic insert and then just drag the better press ink pads over the plate with a well slight amount of pressure and some wiggly movements. What I found out so far is that it's very important that you get a nice coverage of the better press ink on your plate to get a nice and clean image or yeah, image on your better press cards. If you have a scattered coverage of ink on the plate, you will for sure notice that. You will still get a beautiful debossed image, but the coverage of the ink is just as good as you make it. That's why I'm going back and forth with the ink pad. I'm just trying to not get my lighter ink pads messed up with the darker inks. I am then placing the platen on these small magnetic studs. The amazing thing is I can place that platen in all directions. It always fits and it always works. And I'm then just running it quickly through my Spellbinders Platinum 60s works like a charm. You don't have to use any other plate. 
the better press system as it is can be run through the die cutting machine. And maybe, by the way, that card with every steps took me about 12 minutes to make. So I think it's quite an impressive, nice, beautiful and fast way to make beautiful cards. I hope you get the beauty of the debossed images. The butterflies aren't just printed on, they are also pressed into that beautiful paper. I absolutely love the effect. And as I believe it's so much more beautiful and looks more worthy if you have coordinating sentiments with the card design or the base of your card, I am now going to create some better pressed sentiments. I have the always and forever sentiment strips. This is a plate and a die set, a matching die set. And I think it's very handy because you get this huge plate with that huge amount of sentiments. You can just take a better press ink, make sure you have a nice coverage of ink on all of the letters and words, and then just place the plate on top of it, run it through the Spellbinders Platinum 6 again, and then you already have a huge amount of very beautiful sentiments that also have that same design. And I, I don't know how to describe it, but if you use the cotton card, you will notice that that paper has such a different touch. And yeah, it just, it feels very worthy and like high quality and if you have the opportunity to create matching sentiments to that paper, I think it's just another upgrade to your card making. And I hope you get to see how nice this deboss effect with the ink just looks and touches. Luckily, there is that big matching die set, which can be aligned super, super easily. I'm again just making sure that it doesn't wiggle too much and secure it on some places with small pieces of washi tapes. And I have then been grabbing my Spellbinders Platinum 6, but then I had to reinsert the original or usual setup of plates, which means the A, B and two plates of the C, because I'm now die cutting and no more better pressing, which means I have to go back to the normal setup, which you will see in a second. As always, when I die cut things like this, I place the cardstock in a slight angle because I feel just die cuts work better if they are sent through with an angle than um, parallel or rectangular. I hope you understand what I mean. You see, again, it just goes through like bother. And after one run through the machine, I'm already done. And I have this huge amount of absolutely beautiful sentiments, which can be used for so many occasions. And just again, I think it was 12 minutes, which it took me to create this card. So I think you can imagine how fast and easy this is. The whole video isn't sped up. I just cut out the very messy moments, but <laughs> otherwise it just is what it was when I was creating the card. And now everything is ready to, well, finalize this card. I am gluing my better pressed piece, bisque cotton card onto a a two top fold card base using double sided adhesive tape and I am then adding the sentiment with some foam adhesive pieces just to create a tiny amount of dimension on the card. I have then been browsing my stash of sequins and 
decorative embellishments and I found these black and blue embellishments which just work perfectly well with the colors of the butterflies and I've chosen to add just five of them three blue ones and two black ones just yeah to add a tiny bit of something and maybe a little bit extra but not too much on the pink card I've been sharing earlier I have three different colors but I just didn't have anything magic that matching that very beautiful French blue so I decided to keep it with one blue and the black ones and these are already the finalizing or the last steps with that card I will of course have more better press videos because I I have to say I've been very skeptical but I'm really hooked and I think it's just a fabulous tool to upgrade the card making. And I can't wait to share more of the inside. And I hope you get to see how beautiful these debossed and inked images look. I, I really absolutely love it. And I really hope you like it as much as I do. And I wish you a wonderful day. I hope we get to see us soon. Have a wonderful day.